Hi everybody, Andrew Horton here with Servermania.tv and today I'm going to show you how to install Blesta and then integrate it within WHM. This video is going to assume that you already have a cPanel server set up. I've gone ahead and already set up my database and cron jobs. I'll link you to the tutorial on how to do those in the description below. To get started, I need to first install Blesta. I'm working with Blesta 4 Beta 1. I'm going to go ahead and extract the file. And as personal preference, I prefer to have all of my files in the same web directory. Now, this would be web.servermania.io slash Blesta. I don't want it that way. So I'm just going to move these files real quick. And now everything's in order. So to start it off, I'm going to go to blesta.servermania.io, which is going to give me an error because I need to add slash install.php to the end. Now to begin in my web browser, I'll go to blesta.servermania.io slash install.php. Your URL will be different. There are minimum requirements you need to uh, at least get to when you're going to install Blesta. IonCube by default is not installed. You can do that through Easy Apache in WHM. I've gone ahead and I've already created my database beforehand, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill in the details here. And we're going to install it. This will take a few minutes, so let's hit install and I'll be back in a second. Now that the install has been completed, you can either pick the 30-day trial or you can go ahead and license Blesta. In my case, I have a license key, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and fill in my details for my admin account. Okay, so that's been created. Now the first thing you need to do is set up a cron. In this case here, I've already configured my cron. Runs every five minutes. Hour, day, month, and weekday are set to asterisk with uh, this command. Command's the same here. I'm going to run it manually just to make sure it works. It looks like we're all set up. So to start the process, one of the first things I'm going to do for demonstration purposes, I'm going to walk you through the basics of getting it to integrate. Now, the fine details as far as your company name and your gateways and those other details, you'll have to set those up on your own. It's your results will be different than mine. So I need to first go into settings and I'm going to go into modules and I'm going to go to available modules and I'm going to select cPanel. I'm going to add a new server. If you have multiple servers, you can certainly set up a group. For this demonstration, it's just one server. The label I'm going to use is the name of my web server. And then you can find your root key in WHM under remote access key. Account limit is going to be 100. And then the name servers are what are set on the web server. And to be included in the welcome email. Click on add server. Let's go to packages. Go to browse packages. Click on plus. Package name is going to be web hosting, status active, unlimited quantity, description, we could put web hosting, configurable options, we're going to leave alone right now, we're going to set the module to cPanel, the term will be one month, price will be $5, you can choose it to be taxable, cancel the edit term, or prorate it. The welcome email has specific variables. I'm just going to paste in all the variables and we'll go with that. And you can uh, define your welcome email based on these variables. So, hi, client first name, uh, this is your current package, and so on. Now, I have to create a new group. This one I'm going to call web and click create package. Now, once your package has been created, we have to go and create an order form. So, back to packages, order form, click on the plus, and we're going to call this web hosting. Label will be web. Visibility is public, the type is general, and we'll use the basic order form. Client group should be general as well. I'm going to allow coupons. You can require HTTPS, which requires an SSL certificate. You can set all this stuff up later, including the terms of service or CAPTCHA and so on. We need to set the web package to be in the assigned group. 
and change it to US dollars since we're not accepting any currency but US dollars. Click on add form. And now I'm going to go and set up a promo code because I want to test out this order form. So I'm just going to control click on the settings. I'm going to go into billing and payment. I'm going to go over to coupons. I'm going to make a new coupon. This will be called demo. We'll start the coupon today and we'll end the coupon say tomorrow or Friday. That works too. Quantity can be left blank. I'll set the value to 100 and the type will be percent. Available packages for web hosting to be moved to assigned packages. Click on create coupon and we're all set there. Now we're going to test it. So let's go back into packages, go back to order forms and I'm going to right click on the web and copy to new incognito window so I can show you it's a brand new session. And I've already selected the base package since this is the only package that's going to pick one by default. I'm going to put the domain in myblessedtest.com. Uh, it's not a real domain. You just can't use the word test on its own. So I'll add some numbers to it. Use a coupon code. We'll call it demo. We'll redeem the code. Click continue. And I don't have an account yet, so I'm going to go set one up real quick here. Tax ID is optional. And I'm going to throw in a password and click create account. I now have the option to check out and pay. And we'll see the order has been completed. If we jump back to our blessed install, go back to the home tab, we'll see that a new user, demo user, has been added. If you click on the demo user, you can see that the services are currently pending. That's because the cron job has not run yet. You can actually adjust in your settings how often you want to run the cron job for new services, invoices, etc. In this case here, I'm just going to go to manage and I'm going to manually run this cron job. So by clicking activate, it sends the welcome email, it triggers the cPanel module and activates the service. This takes a few moments here. Yes, it's already been successfully added. So I'm going to go back into my WHM install. I'm going to go back to list accounts. And you can see that my blessed uh, test 3131.com has been completed. If, if this domain were real and I pointed it to the correct name servers, it would work. Other than that, that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions about how the process works or would like more information, visit servermania.tv. And of course, leave any comments below and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.